Greetings, I am Rob Chappers. Let's learn to shred and get straight into it. Whether you are a fan of Angel Vivaldi or actual Vivaldi, <laughs> shredding is awesome. It is a really fun, expressive part of the repertoire of playing guitar. And I love it. I use it to get to a more melodic point where I tend to slow down. Let's get into the lesson. <laughs> The quickest path to learning how to shred is to exploit a repetitive pattern, something that you find easy to play that you can manipulate in such a way as it gives you quick notes within a scale um, that will be easy to move and change and alter to give you licks. Here is an example from one of my tunes, which is called To Survive. <laughs> Now this is uh, Phrygian in A. Don't worry about the scale shape or the fact that it's Phrygian. All it is is that I found these notes easy to play in this particular position. I'm going to teach it to you nice and slow, see if you can build it up, and then I'm going to give you some other mechanisms to express yourself quickly if speed and technique are things that you are interested in. Um, I'm tuned to standard. I'm using a Sahana Huchil for a nice change. I'm at the fifth fret. I know there are no fret markers, but please bear with me. This is my fifth fret. So we're going to start off. It's three sections that repeat, by the way. And I'm going to give you each and every fret position and note and teach you how to play this. So it starts off fifth fret, B string. We're going to pick, hammer, and pull. <laughs> And then we're going to hammer down at this seventh fret with your third finger. Pull off to the fifth fret with your first finger on the same string. And then bring your third finger over to the seventh fret D string. And you're going to hammer that. So this is pick, hammer, pull, hammer. Or you can pick that one, pull, and then you can either pick or hammer this one. Now I'm saying that you can either pick or hammer, because really it's up to you. It's purely just a tonal thing. Do you prefer the sound of Or do you prefer the sound of Obviously with more gain, there's not a great deal of difference. That's hammered. That's picked. Now, palm muting will make the biggest difference to this particular kind of lick. Anyway, this is part one. So pick, hammer, pull, hammer or pull, uh, or pick, pull off, and then pick. Let's get that done a few repetitions. So pause the video here and practice this. <laughs> Get that practiced, pause the video, come back. Okay, you should have worked that into a homogenous physical uh, experience. Let's run a few of them off together. Let's go this tempo. Second part of the two survive lick. First finger on the fifth fret E string. We're going to pick, we're going to hammer, and we're going to pull. This is the sixth and fifth fret. We're then going to bring the second finger over to the sixth fret this time. And we're going to pull off to the fifth fret on the B string. And then we're going to bring this third finger over to the seventh fret G string. So it sounds like this. Picked, hammered, pulled exactly the same way. It's the same thing, really, but further up the scale. So. Again, work this up until you can do it. Then we're going to run a few repetitions. Pause and get into it. Okay, let's go this speed. Now, let's 
let's run one and then two. So it should sound like this. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Good. I feel the force growing within you. So, the third section of this lick is... Nice and easy. It's really the same again. First finger on the fifth fret. We hammer and pull at the eighth fret. And then it's the rest of uh, the second lick. So we're going to be going six to five. And then seven on the G string. So it sounds like this. Let's uh, learn that, come back, and then we'll run it just really quickly. Okay, the tempo is going to be this. Let's run all three of them together. Uh, we're going to do this at a fairly slow tempo just to make sure that it's ingrained in your nervous system. And uh, at this point, please give it a like and subscribe and hammer the bell if you haven't done so already for the greater good the greater good. So with practice, um, with a metronome or a drummer or a backing track uh, or whatever, you can get this up to really quick speeds. I tend to do a mixture of hammers and picking depending on the night, how I'm feeling, um, whether my hands are sore or whatever, whether my nails have been cut. I haven't cut them today, which is really annoying me. But it's played about this speed. <laughs> And the whole thing is in drop C, by the way, in case you are a fan of Dorje and were wondering why this is in the wrong key. Okay, let's look at something else. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, Friedman, Marty Friedman, a little bit Jason Becker, a little bit Dragon's Kiss. We're going to be using this scale. <laughs> I will now teach you the scale, in case you're not familiar with it, it's a Japanese uh, scale. So we're going to be starting on the 11th and the 8th fret. It goes from 8 to 12, then it goes from 9 to 10, 9 to 10, 9 to 11, and then goes to 8 to 12, 8 to 12. It's a great sounding scale and you can use it as if it were a pentatonic. So for example, you can practice your licks in it rather than... You can be all and it has a really interesting sound to it. We're just going to apply uh, a, a count to it. So we're going to be going All I've done is what I call upstairs, downstairs. I'm going up part of the scale, back down and then back up the scale and then down. And I could go up again if I wanted to, so I could even go. It's a really simple thing to do, but it sounds so cool if you can roll it along the rhythm. So we're starting off uh, D string within the scale, 11, 10, ninth fret. We're just gonna be going nine, 10. That's a pick and a hammer, by the way. Uh, we're going down to the G string, 9, 11, pull off, and then back the way you came. So we're going to be going 10, 9. Sounds really, really beautiful. So you can see I'm picking, hammering. I tend to pick when I change string. Pick, hammer, pull. I either hammer or pick that one, and then pull off again. And then I'm going to go to the A string. I'm going to be going... 10, 9, and then back up the way I came. So 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9. See this? So.
Then we're going to be going little finger to the 12th fret. And then first finger all the way down here to the 8th fret. And then really easy with gain, speed, and uh, Ingve guarding your spirit. This is how it should sound. I really like that. In fact, I love everything about Jason Becker, Marty Friedman. I think their playing is so uniquely different and interesting. It makes shredding uh, a deep, huge, vast world to be discovered. They use exotic scales and interesting phrasing, and they're all about timing. Things like playing a pentatonic in fives, which is something else I love, just a pure pentatonic minor scale in E. They, Marty Friedman would play it in fives, so he would go. And that would gain sounds amazing. It's just a great sounding, interesting way of applying a number to a pentatonic scale. One last awesome, exciting, expressive shred lick for you. It's kind of a chord progression on the G string using, you can either pick or you can hammer and pull. It's entirely up to you. Um, I once had this thing that I called the circle of doom about uh, six years ago. This would be the line of punishment. Sounds like this. <laughs> That's it, nice and easy. So we're starting on the 12th fret with a little finger. We're going to be using this formation, 12, 11, 9. Nice and simple. We're going to be going 12, pull off to the first finger, hammer down with the third finger, little finger comes down, so... And then you pull off sequentially through the fingers. So you get 12, 9, 11, 12, 11, Nine. Now this pattern will be repeated on each stage. So stage one is the same picking pattern as every other stage. And when I say picking pattern, what I mean is you pick the first note, everything is hammered and pulled. But you could... So I think it sounds a little bit messy, not because it's a coordination thing for me, but because I really enjoy the crispness of a palm muted legato. Um, <laughs> if you really want to research crispness in palm muted legato, there is only one guy, one person on the internet who is the king of palm muted legato phrasing. And if you know who that is, put it in the comment section below right now and uh, sing praise to his name for he is utterly Excellent. Uh, this is how it should sound. So yeah, sorry, I digressed. That's the first position. The next position is this. So you take your little finger down to the 11th fret. You've got your, this one here, here, and this one here, here. You know what I'm talking about, eight, nine, 11, yeah? So it's same pattern. From here, we simply extend the first finger and then we do the same pattern. And then we come down a semitone with the first finger and it's this minor position again. So here it is slowly. this lick is in E minor so you could use it to ascend rather than descend and then play some really emotive melodic stuff in just good old E pentatonic and I'm kind of thinking on my feet here but let me just pull something out of my ass and see if it sounds cool <laughs> Thank you. 
Do you want to see the gear I was using? Just, I know gear is sometimes kind of a fascinating thing to guitar players. Uh, brand new V30 Mark II, gunned like a little naughty boy. Um, classic Line 5. M, uh, sorry, line, line six. Who are line five? M5 stunt box modeler giving me the verb. And then I've just got a boss chromatic tuner. <laughs> I always, always do this. Um, and an attic audio overdrive. And obviously the Sahana Hu Chill guitar. Really hope that you enjoyed, thrived from this lesson. Please, for the love of all that is holy, stay healthy, happy, and chilled. And go and listen to some shredders. Go and listen to Jason Richardson. Go and listen to Mrs. Smith. Go and listen to Angel Vivaldi. Please go and listen to my new album from the project Monkey Lord, which is called Chromatic Aberration. Please go and have a beer and relax, provided you are of a responsible drink age. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the internet at some point later. Bye! <laughs>